In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom background to your Sharp Tools dashboard. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check the video description for the three simple steps to get started. In this video, what we're going to do is going to get this custom background onto our Sharp Tools dashboard. Um, this dashboard is actually for a tablet, so it's a little bit unorganized the way it is. But you can see that we have a custom background here, and I'm going to show you how to get that set up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get some wallpapers. So this is an excellent website right here for that. It's called wall.alphacoders.com. Just go to this site and I'll leave um, all the links and everything that you need in the video description. And then you would just want to choose um, what you wanted at the top. So I'm just going to choose wallpapers. And they only have 842,382 wallpapers to choose from. So hopefully you'll be able to find at least one good one. Nature. We can get some nature shots here. This one's pretty cool. Go ahead and download this one. Um, let's see, we got a beach here. So let's download that. And let's type in something else as well. So go up to the top and let's search um, space. So here we have some wallpapers here. We can download this one. You just click on the little download thing and you can see it's downloading right in the bottom. Pretty much anything you want will be here. And go ahead and download this one. All right, so now all of our downloads, um, we got four downloads here. That's good enough for what we're doing. Let's just go ahead and pull up our download folder. Here they are in our download folder. And what we need to do is we need to get these on the internet so Sharp Tools has access to them. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go over to imager.com. This is the best place to get pictures and host pictures for 100% free. All you need to do is if you haven't got an account yet, um, just click the sign up button in the upper right and just choose to register with one of your accounts. Um, when I registered, I used Google, super easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with the account that I already have. Now, once you're signed in, you're going to see your username at the top. And what you want to do is go to that and go to images. These are all of the images that I have uploaded so far. Let's go ahead and upload the images that we just downloaded. So if you tap on the add images, you're going to get a drag and drop box here. Pull up our downloads and drag and drop them in. And then they'll load in right here. All right, so we have those loaded in. Now, to get this on a Sharp Tools dashboard, we need to get a special link. Let's go ahead and let's use this beach one for this example. Tap on that. And what we need is the direct link. All we need to do is go over to the copy on the direct link section. And now we have it copied. So what we need to do now is go over to our Sharp Tools app and we're going to go to manage resources. And here is where you're going to add the media. We just need to create a new media. And we're going to call this one Beach. And we're going to paste in that URL. So that is the one that we copied from Imager. And you do not need to check enable auto refresh if it's just a basic image. If it's something that does need to be updated, definitely check the enable auto refresh. 
go ahead and click create and now you can see that beach is now in our list so now we can go over to our dashboards and let's just choose one of these here climate control and I haven't actually done anything on this dashboard so we're gonna to have to add one tile So I've added my two thermostats upstairs and downstairs. And now you can see that it's basically defaulted in with a gray background and pretty boring. Um, so we can definitely make this better. So all we need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the three little dots. Once you click on the three little dots, you can go to configuration. And here is where you can change the default colors here let's change our default tile color to be something transparent since we're going to go for an image the active tile color just make that a transparent green and let's make the background color black now here is where the background images are let's go ahead and add a background image click on background image and what we want to do to do something custom is go to the media and now it's going to show you all of the choices this is everything that's in the media section that we've added i'm going to click on the beach and i'm going to click on save and now you can see that we have the beach picture that we uploaded so everything is looking pretty good now let's go ahead and add a image as a tile not a background let's go ahead and hit the plus sign in the bottom right and we're going to add media let's add this model s mountains and click done so now you can see what it's done here is added this picture as a tile now if we go into that, we do have some options. Um, we can change the label, we can change the dimensions. Um, we can open the media full screen on a tap. Um, you can refresh the media on a tap, or you can open a hyperlink with a tap. Let's just keep it on open media full screen for now. You can also change the scaling. So you can have it fill, contain, or cover. We're going to leave that on cover and you can also move the media position depending on your scaling to get it to be looking right. So we're going to go ahead and hit save here. Now if we save our dashboard and we tap on this, it'll open the picture up large and if we tap again, it will make it small. So this would be handy, say if you wanted to add a picture of your family, you could add that picture as a small tile. And then when you weren't using your dashboard, you could tap it up and then that would be what your dashboard looked like. Now um, let's actually change the background again. We're gonna go back to our three little dots in the bottom right hand corner and go to configuration and go to background image again. Let's go to our media. So if you haven't added the media already, you can you can add the media right here where it says add media tap that and here you have the media name so let's type in earth and let's go back over to our imager and let's choose this image here tap that let's grab our direct link again go back to sharp tools and paste in our link now, if you don't see the image right down here when you paste in your link, that means there's something wrong and it's not going to work. So that shows here and let's go ahead and click create. And now we have that as an option. So let's go ahead and choose the earth and click save. Now you can see we have the earth here and we have our tiles. So everything is looking pretty good. Now let's do a couple other things. So once you get your 
background in here, there are a few advanced options that you can do with your background. Let's go ahead and go into the configuration again. And let's go into background and choose media and toggle on the advanced settings. So you have three different options in here, opacity, blur, and gradient. Let's mess with the opacity first. So all the way to the right hand side means that it is 100% solid. Let's drag this back and let's just put it to, let's do four. Let's put it on four and then let's apply this. So to apply these advanced settings to a particular image, what you want to do is choose your advanced settings and then come down and choose the media you want to apply it to. Let's tap on the earth and click on save. And now you can see that the earth is much, much darker. Now the reason it's um, basically darker with black is because when we come back into configuration, you can see that we chose the background color to be black. If you wanted it to have a greenish tint or something, you could change the background to be green. Let's try that real quick. And now you can see everything is green. Let's go ahead and actually change this back to black and click save. Now let's undo this real quick. All right, and then we are back to our bright earth again. Now let's mess with the blur. Let's go ahead and click on configuration again, background image, media, advanced, and go to blur. Let's go ahead and change this to be three. And choose our earth again, and click on save. Now you can see it's quite a bit blurrier than it was, and that can be handy because you don't want to draw too much attention to the background if your main attention would be on your tiles. So that can be used um, to basically blur out the background. Let's go ahead and undo that. And we have one other one and that is the gradient. Let's go ahead and do that. Configuration, background image, media, advanced. And here we have gradient. So you have um, four different options here. Darken the top, darken the bottom, lighten the top, or lighten the bottom. Let's go ahead and darken the top. Tap on that, and remember you have to choose your media. So click on the earth, and click on save. So now you can see that it's much darker at the top of the screen, and the lightness, basically right in this area, becomes 100% brightness. So that can be handy to kind of add some different effects um, to your... Let's go ahead and undo that real fast. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. That's basically how to add some custom pictures. Um, you know, you want to basically get your um, wallpapers from this site. There's just tons and tons and tons to choose from. Whatever you type in, you're going to find something. Um, upload those to Imager and grab the direct link. And then what you need to do is just add the media to your Sharp Tools, and then it will be available for you to use. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I will see you in the next video.